Welcome to Portfolio Design Intermediate Year 2. Uh, before we get started, what I'd like to do is to take a, take a look through our, our example portfolio that we have set up and to highlight some of the key features of this year's design. So I'm on the Portfolio Design Intermediate Year 2 page and I'm going to click here where it says click here for completed example. And I just want to point out a couple of features that we're going to be working with. Uh, one of the notable features that you'll see with this year's design is that the navigation bar is incorporated into our header rather than having a separate bar that drops below our header. Uh, this poses a little bit of a challenge in terms of design uh, because our logo area for our banner will be a little bit smaller. The other thing that's a notable difference is the fact that we're using a fixed header. So when you scroll down, the header stays in one place and the content scrolls down. The other thing that we're adding is a little bit of a jQuery plugin so that, you know, I don't know if you can see it in my example, but when you click to the top, you have a solid white line right here, but then when you start scrolling down, you have a little bit of a drop shadow. And the other thing that you'll notice is in our content area, it feels as if it floats, even though it stays centered. And you'll see a second area where we have a highlighted feature with a different background color. And the background looks as if it continues on and on and on in that direction. If I scroll or, or make this a little bit wider, you'll notice that that keeps getting bigger. And then a third feature is, is that we have a section for three column highlighted um, uh, areas. And uh, when you hover over these areas, they become, the, these are links to uh, a different page. And in our footer, we're going to add something different that we haven't uh, done before, is we have some little bit of icons for social media. And we'll talk about that when we get to that section. Um, okay, so that's the gist of um, the kind of the new design updates to this portfolio design. So let's get started with our file management section. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to minimize my window here, and I'm going to show you how to do this all on the desktop. You'll want to do this in your U drive. You want to go to my computer and then select your U drive and then add these folders in your U drive. Okay. So at this point I'm going to click new folder. I'm going to right click and do a new folder and you'll do the same in your U-Drive. And I'm going to title this folder uh, Portfolio, and you can do, uh, since this is your second year design, do Y2, okay? And inside this portfolio, we need to make some additional folders. Remember that last year we had to nest a bunch of folders within each other, and we have to do the same this year as well because when we end up putting this over onto our site, uh, if we don't do it this way, your materials, your files, will not get put over correctly. So inside Portfolio Year 2, I'm going to also make a new folder. Right-click, new folder there. And this is going to be your last name, underscore, first name, underscore, portfolio. Okay. And then we want to name it the exact same way as we did last year. If we keep it the exact same name as we did last year, when we go to put our portfolio folder over, it'll just overwrite the one from last year. And that way you don't have to make any adjustments um, to anything. So it'll automatically go over and you'll be able to see it right away. So inside this folder, we need to make a series of other folders as well. So I'm going to double click this and I'm going to open up uh, in my Mac. I can do a new folder. I have a new folder button up there. But if you're still working in your in your U drive, right click new folder and I'm going to make a CSS folder for my style sheet. So I'm going to do this with a starting off with an underscore. So that way this folder will always appear at the top of my um, list here. Um, if we get to it, we might add uh, a JavaScript file. So I'm going to do the same type of folder here. We may not get to that part, but uh, just in case, um, that way I already have the folder ready to go. I'm going to make a, another folder that's for just JavaScript files. And I'm going to do the same thing uh, with that folder, underscore dot JS for JavaScript. And then um, need to make another folder. And this one is going to be called images. 
And then last, I always like to make a documents folder um, for any type of catch-all type, you know, perhaps Word documents or PDFs or things like that, okay? Now before I end this tutorial, I already have some files that I've, cr that I've saved and created uh, for my portfolio and I hope you have too um, with some of the content pieces that we've been working on um, this trimester. Uh, so I have those located on my desktop, so I'm just going to minimize this real quick so I can show you where those are at. Um, I have a folder that I have saved, it's called Portfolio Images, and then I have a Word document that is um, basically a, a filler text document that I'm going to use for much of this tutorial. So I wanna, I'm going to reference this piece quite a bit. So I'm just going to grab and drop that and put that into my Documents folder there. And then I'm going to open up my Images folder by double-clicking my Images folder. And then I'm going to open up this other folder that I have with all of my materials in it. So I have all of these portfolio images that I have created. You will most likely have some of these. You will also most likely need to create some of your own. Um, but since I've already kind of gone through the process of this, I have these images already ready. So for time's sake, um, I'll just have these created and ready and we'll be able to drop them in during our tutorial. So I want to grab these and just copy them. So Command C and then come over to my images folder and Command V and paste all those bad boys in there. Okay, um, so that's it for my file management at this point. My next step is to uh, open up Dreamweaver and actually set up my uh, site so that when I go to the files panel I can direct all of my direct my Dreamweaver to those files.